<laughs> I'm so sorry. Imagine if I would have done the class without the recording. <laughs> um, you can tell I've been on a holiday. Anyway, let's start lying down on the back. So you can come to a constructive rest pose with the legs bent, feet planted, or you can stretch out the legs if that feels comfortable for you. Take the arms wherever feel nurturing and natural. And just close down the eyes. Taking a moment to arrive into this space, into your body. Maybe taking a few fuller breaths in through the nose and then exhaling out through the mouth. And as it's the new year, 2022, I thought we could perhaps do a little bit of intention setting or setting some sort of sentence or tone or word that we can bring into the coming year. Reflect on what worked, what perhaps didn't work. and set a new tone that we want to bring with us. So just take a moment to think about what makes you happy. Perhaps it's one thing, maybe it's many things. What makes you feel happy? And moving on from that, what makes you feel healthy? Healthy in body, healthy in the mind. And with all of those observations in mind, perhaps we can use them to create an intention or a sentence or a couple of sentences that we can bring forward into the coming year. So normally when we set an intention, we use a positive statement and state it in the present tense as though it's already happening. So I like to use the phrases, I am, or I feel. Just notice what happens when you inquire. And whatever comes up for you will form the basis of your intention today. But once you've found something that resonates with you, just repeat that to yourself in your head three times. I am blank or I feel blank. And then we'll use that intention to set the tone for the rest of the practice. And perhaps we can carry that off the mat into our daily life. Just let go of the intention, draw the awareness to the breath. Notice how you're breathing today. And then we're gonna use the palms to help us deepen the breath here. So just lift the palms and just rest the palms on the lower belly. 
And then on your next inhale, we're going to send the breath down towards the area underneath the palms. So feeling the belly rise into the hands on the breath in. And then feel the belly fall and the hands fall back down on the breath out. Inhale, rising, inflating. Exhale, deflating. And take one more breath just like that. And then we're going to slide the hands to the side of the ribs now. So just resting on the side body, kind of around the rib cage area. And we're going to breathe into the hands at the side of the ribs. So as we inhale, send the breath towards the side of the ribs, inhaling. And then exhaling, just let that fall back to center. Take that a couple more times, feeling that sense of inflation through the side body. Nice, we'll take one more breath in here. Nice. And then we'll keep that lovely long breath as we move through the rest of our practice today. So when you're ready, just gently blink the eyes open. We'll take the arms wide here. So maybe they come to a T position. Maybe they come to a cactus position or perhaps in between both. See what feels more nurturing, more natural for you today. We're going to slide the feet slightly closer towards the bum. Keep the left leg bent, and we're gonna extend the right leg out, just straighten the right leg out. Nice, and then taking a couple of flexing and pointing with the right foot. So as we inhale, draw the toes back towards you, press through the heel, flex that right foot. And then as we exhale, point the right toes away from you, feeling that stretch at the front of the right foot. So inhale, pull the toes back. Press through the heel, exhale, just point the toes forwards. Nice, so I'll take that one more time, breathing in, press through the right heel. And then exhale, pointing through the right toes. Nice, and then we'll come back to flexing that foot. So pressing through the heel, keep that engagement through the right leg. And we're just gonna lift the right leg all the way up towards the ceiling here. Nice. So there is a tendency here to, to lift through the lower back. So just keep the lower back imprinting down. Keep flexing through the right foot. Try to draw that right leg slightly closer towards the body and feel the expansion of the hamstrings at the back of the leg. And take a full breath in. Exhale here. Nice. And then we'll interlace the fingers behind the back of the right thigh. And then staying here, or maybe we start to lift the head, the shoulders and the chest. So we come into some sort of ab crunch position here. Try to relax the shoulders if you can. Keep pressing through the right heel. Take a full breath in. And then exhale out. Take one more breath in here. And then exhale, we'll leave the right leg as it is. Just release the fingertips, bring the whole of the back body down. And then we'll bend that right leg and bring the outer edge of the right foot to rest on the left knee or left thigh. Just take a moment here, press the foot into the knee, knee into the foot. And then staying here, or maybe we can lift that left foot and then interlace the fingers behind the left thigh. Dexter, come here. Nice. Try to keep that right knee away from the body. Low back imprinting down, shoulders relax and just breathe here. Take one more breath in here. And then exhale. Gently release the fingertips. We'll bring the sole of the left foot back down. And we're gonna go into our first restorative posture, keeping this positioning with the legs, 
keep that position with the legs as and then drop the legs over towards the left hand side so the outer edge of the left leg and the right foot comes down towards the ground you have the option of making a little bit more of a deeper twist if you want to bring the left hand on towards the right knee or right thigh and just ease that leg back towards the body and then you can stay here maybe the right arm reaches out the right wrist in line with the right shoulder or if you want more of a stretch through the right side of the body just wrap the right arm around the crown of the head so that the right armpit opens and just rest the arm down above the head. So I'll just show you what it looks like on camera. Just wrapping the right arm around the crown of the head, a little bit more opening through the right side of the body. Nice, so just picking whichever option suits you here. You don't have to take all the options that I mentioned. And then once you've found a shape that works for you, we're practicing drawing the attention back to the breathing. So take a full breath in. And then a slow breath out. Closing the eyes or just softening the gaze to one spot. Trying to give the weight of your body to the surface of the earth and props beneath you. Just witnessing and observing the breath. you need a point of focus focus on extending the breath out through the exhale so that the breath out is just a couple of counts longer than the breath in and as we extend out through the exhale it stimulates the parasympathetic nervous system one that's responsible for our rest, digest and relaxation response. You've got one minute left here. Three more breaths. Taking a full breath in. And then exhale to release that breath. When you feel ready to move again, take your time. We'll bring the arm all the way back down. If you've got the arm around the head, tone the abdominals just slightly to bring the knees and the legs back through center. We'll release that right leg down and we'll just decompress from this pose. So take the feet slightly wider than hip width apart. Arms can be nice and wide. I'm just holding the mic here, so don't mind me. And then we'll just take a gentle windscreen wiper of the knees from side to side just to ease out any tension or tightness that may have built up anywhere around the low back and the hips. And 
then once you feel even on both sides and take your time we'll bring the knees back through center ease the feet slightly back towards the body and we'll do that whole sequence on the left hand side so keep the right leg bent and straighten the left leg out a couple of points and flexes with the feet as we inhale draw those left toes back towards you press through the heel and then exhale, point the left foot forwards, toes away from you. Repeating that with your own breath. Noticing how that stretch kind of travels all the way up the length of the legs towards the thighs and the hips. The next time the left foot flexes, we're going to pause here. And then lifting that left leg all the way up towards the ceiling, just as far as it will go. And then take a moment here, feel the hamstrings at the back of the left leg start to open up. You have the option of interlacing the fingers and bringing the head and the shoulders to lift here. So a little bit more work through the abdominals. So try to really keep the chest lifted, take a full breath in. Exhale, keep trying to ease that left leg back towards you. Take one more breath. And exhale, just drape the whole of the upper body all the way back down. Take the arms nice and wide. And then we'll bend that left leg and bring the outer edge of the left foot to rest on the right knee or right thigh. So figure a four stretch here. Make sure that left knee doesn't collapse towards the body. Keep it rotated away. If you want a slightly deeper stretch through the left hip, we'll lift up that right foot and interlace the fingers behind the back of the right thigh. Take a full breath in. And a slow, easy breath out. One more breath in here. Nice, and then we'll ease that right foot all the way back down. Keep this figure of four legs situation going on, and then we'll ease the legs over towards the right hand side. So taking a twist over towards the opposite side, the whole of the outer edge of the right leg comes down, sole of the left foot comes down. You have the option of taking it into a little bit more of a deeper twist by bringing that right hand onto left knee or left thigh and just easing that leg back towards the body. Then you have also have the option of taking that stretch through the side body by sweeping that left arm around the crown of the head. And again, once you've found a shape that works for you, resetting and re-relaxing through the body, take a full breath in. And a slow, easy release. Releasing the breath, just allowing it to flow naturally. Using every exhale as an opportunity to release any tension that's still built up or stagnant in the body. If I go quiet, just for a couple of minutes, just know that I'm right here, holding space. You might find that the mind wanders off into thinking about the past, the future. And just be reassured that this is completely natural. Our mind is conditioned to wander off into thinking. 
but we're here to practice noticing when the mind has wandered and strengthening that muscle of being able to gently guide the mind back to the present moment. So we do that primarily using the breath. But you can also use sounds in the room or sensations in the body. And that in mind, you've got one minute left. Three more breaths. On your next exhale, Gently draw that left arm all the way back down so that the shoulder is in line with the head. And then gently bring the knees and the legs back through the middle. And the sole of the left foot down. And this time we're gonna draw both knees in towards the chest, wrapping the arms around the shins or the knees and just take a gentle rock from side to side. Maybe it feels quite nice to take the knees into circles, just easing some tension away from the low back and the hips. Take a moment to remind yourself of the intention that you started with. And we'll take one more breath in here. Nice, and then just slide the hands towards the back of the thighs and just take an easy, gentle rock up to seated. Great, so we're gonna go into our restorative pose using our bolster here. So just pretend this is my bolster. I'm gonna bring the bolster behind me and take it lengthways. Nice. And then you welcome to place a cushion or a blanket on top of the bolster if you wanna make it more cozy, but just one bolster will do. And then we're gonna turn the body away from the bolster, bend the knees and bring the knees and the ankles about hip width apart. Nice, and then just slide the bolster closer towards the body. And then as we inhale, draw the knees over towards the left. So just allow the knees to drop over towards the left, turn the body over towards the left long edge of the mat. Then ease that bolster into your left hip area. And you've got two options here. Placing the hands either side of the bolster, you can ease that left side down and bring the left cheek down towards the bolster. If you want a little bit more of a deeper twist, we're going to turn the head over towards the opposite side and we're going to bring the right cheek down towards the bolster. So you've got two options, left cheek down, a little bit more of a less intense twist. If you want to take it slightly deeper, turn the head over towards the left and bring the right cheek down. And you've got the option just to hug the top of the bolster or just place the hands either side of the prop. It's quite a deep twist here. So just picking an option where you feel comfortable and safe and you feel like you can breathe just for a couple of moments. So once you've found your shape, we'll take a conscious breath in together. And then exhale to release.
just to let the body ease into the weight of the props and the earth beneath you. And just witnessing the breath as it comes in and out naturally. Notice how the intensity of the stretch changes as we breathe and remain in the shape. Noticing places of warmth on the skin and places of coolness. So really becoming aware of all of your sensory awareness. Breathing five more breaths in here. Taking a full breath in and an exhale to release that breath. When you feel ready to move or we'll slide the hands either side of the bolster, press down through the palms just to lift the body nice and slow. And then really slowly just rotate the chest and the knees so you're facing forward once more. So you have the option of either stretching out the legs or you can come to a comfortable cross-legged position. We're just gonna ease some tension away from the neck. So just rest the hands on the knees or the thighs. And then as we inhale, start to draw circles with the head just above the shoulders here. So it might feel a little bit extra creaky, especially if we haven't been moving the body over the festive period. So just take it nice and slow, nice and easy. Drawing the chin towards the chest and just allowing the head to roll back, opening through the throat. And if it feels intuitive for you, you can change the direction of the circle. Nice. And then take your time. When you feel ready, we'll come back through center. We'll re-bend the legs and then we'll take that twist on the other side. So just allow the knees this time to drop over towards the right, turn the body over towards the right. So your left hip is going to start to lift. You can allow that to happen. And then we'll bring the base of the bolster in towards the right hip area. You can ease that right side of the body down, bring the right cheek down, or you have the option of twisting the head over towards the other side and bringing the left cheek down. So left cheek is a little bit more of an intense 
option, intense twist. Just notice where your hands naturally feel like arriving. So maybe hugging the top of the bolster or just resting either side of the body. Notice if your palms naturally want to face down or up, and just allow whatever feels more comfortable for you to just to happen. And then we'll take a full breath in through the nose. And then an easy breath out through the mouth. Continuing to breathe this slow rhythmical breath. And at any point, if you wish to release some tension around the body, you're welcome just to take a breath and a sigh out through the mouth. Just watching and observing the journey of the mind as it floats through memories, images, feelings, emotions, thoughts. And just allowing all parts of you to be here right now. So all of you is welcome. Five more breaths, take it slow. Make this your last exhale here. And whenever you feel ready to move, we'll just slide the hands back down either side of the props and just lift the body up nice and slow. Swing the knees back through center. You can readjust the pelvis. And this time we'll come into a comfortable cross-legged position. Just allow the shoulders to drop away from the ears. We'll slide the hands towards the knees and we'll just take a nice, easy, gentle seated cat cow. So as we inhale, send the chest forwards, shoulders roll back. Maybe the chin starts to lift so you find a little bit more of a deeper back bend. And then exhale, sitting on towards the back of the bum, round through the spine. Send the shoulders forwards, chin drops down towards the chest. Let's take that a couple more times, breathing in. Radiate the chest forwards, slide the shoulders back. And then exhale, send the shoulders forwards, round and dome through the spine. 
Let's take that just a couple more times here. Breathing in and then exhale to round, dropping the head. Nice. And then we'll come all the way back through the middle. And then we'll set up for our last restorative posture. So we're going to use supported bridge here, one of my favorite um, restorative postures, especially if you've got a bolster. So we're going to bring the bolster, but we're going to turn it so it's horizontal, so it's widthways, and then bring the bolster about maybe halfway down the mat. So just make sure you have enough space behind the bolster just to lie the upper body down. And then I'm just going to pretend that this is my bolster here. And then we're going to sit on the bolster. So bring the bum to sit on the bolster, have the knees bent, feet about hip width apart. Bring the hands behind the bolster, doesn't matter if the fingertips are facing forwards or sideways. And then as we inhale, squeeze the bum and lift the bum off the bolster. Slide the hips forwards and then resting the sacrum, so this kind of bony part just above the bum on the bolster. Then we'll just use the hands just to ease the upper body all the way back down. So the back of the head and the shoulders come in contact with the earth. And so this is option one. You can remain here for your supported bridge pose. If you want it to take a slightly deeper bridge pose, you have the option of straightening the legs here so that the feet move towards the front of the mat and also taking the arms all the way back. So you're reaching the fingertips towards the back of the mat, a little bit more of a deeper stretch for the low back. Nice, okay, so just pick whichever option feels nice for you. This is a great stretch to do, especially if you experience lower back pain or tension. And once you've found a spot that works for you, We'll take a full breath in. And then exhale, releasing, letting go, letting go. Just notice if there's any holding or any pockets of tension around the chest area. Normally this pose tends to build a little bit of tension in this area and just allow that to ease and soften if that is the case. Relaxing the jaw. Maintaining some space between the back teeth. So we're halfway through this pose now. So I'm just gonna offer out another option if you wish to take it. You have the option of sending the legs up towards the ceiling. A little bit more of an inversion practice here. So if you do wish to take it, feel free to have a little bend in the knees if that feels more comfortable. And if you have taken it and you feel like it's not really quite working for you, you also have the option of lowering the legs back down. So wherever you are, we'll re-relax through the body using the breath.
Breathing, five more breaths in here. Taking a deep breath in. And an exhale to release that breath. You've got the legs lifted, just gently bend the knees, allow the feet to fall back towards the body and just ease the feet all the way down. Bend the knees. And then as we inhale, squeeze the bum and just lift the bum off the bolster. And then we can use the hands just to roll the bolster down so the bolster arrives underneath the knees. So you're welcome to take this posture in your yoga nidra. So a little support underneath the knees can sometimes bring the back into a little bit more of a neutral shape. And then placing a blanket on top of you or whatever layers you need to keep warm. And then if you want to dim the lights, you're also welcome to do so. So just take a couple of moments to get comfy and cozy. You're going to be here for around 20 minutes. So somewhere that feels comfortable. Nice. And then we'll get ready for our yoga nidra. So yoga nidra is kind of like a yogaic sleep where I'll guide you through the states of consciousness between wakefulness and sleeping. There's nothing you need to do apart from completely relax and listen to my voice. And take a full breath in through the nose. And an exhale out through the mouth. Let your senses open. Bring your attention to the inside of your mouth. Feel your sense of taste emptying the mouth of any tension or holding. Filling it with awareness. Decompressing the jaw, the tongue and the throat. And let the attention flow from the mouth to the ears. Notice your sense of sound and hearing. And how you can pick up on the layers of sound in the near distance. And in the far distance. Listening not only with ears, but with whole body. Let the attention flow from the ears to the nose. Feel the touch of breath in the nostrils. Letting fragrance come to you. Noticing if the air feels more dominant in one nostril or the other. And then let the attention flow from the nose to the eyes and really give up the physical eyes, completely committing them to rest from the world of looking, and seeing. 
decompress all the muscles around the eyes and your forehead, temples. Let the eyeballs fall back and down. From eyes to skin and your sense of touch. Feel the whole skin of the body, sensitive and receptive. Notice how you can breathe into your own skin. Notice the touch of air against the skin. Places of warmth. Places of coolness. Places where the body meets the floor and where clothes meet the skin. All five senses wide open. In Yoga Nidra, we practice something called Sankalpa, which is a Sanskrit word that means intention or deep resolve. You can think of your sankalpa like planting a seed into not only this meditation, but also your daily life. To practice sankalpa, we first take a moment to practice gratitude. So allowing yourself to notice and experience anything that you feel genuinely thankful for. Perhaps it's one simple thing. Maybe it's many things. And then from that place of thankfulness, ask yourself, in this moment, what is my deepest longing? What is my deepest, most heartfelt desire? Simply notice what arises when you inquire. Whatever the answers to the question may be on this day will form the basis of your intention for this practice. So as it becomes clear to you, just let it blossom into some sort of language that makes sense. State it in the present tense as though it's already happening. And repeat it to yourself three times in your mind. Then give thanks and let it go. We're going to circulate your consciousness now through the body. Each part of your body has a different control center in your brain. And as you move awareness through the different parts, you're not only encouraging them to relax, but also clearing nerve pathways to the brain, stimulating a state of consciousness that is both deeply relaxed but also alert and attuned. Begin by bringing your attention to the palms of your hand. Experience the palms of the hand as a mass of sensation and energy. Notice feelings of pressure, warmth, tingling, pulsing. Now bring your attention to the right hand thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, 
little finger. Feel the spaces between the fingers on the right side, palm of the right hand, back of the right hand, right wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, right shoulder, armpit, right waist, hip, thigh, knee, and the space just underneath the right knee, lower leg, right ankle, heel, sole of the right foot, top of the right foot, all five toes together. Feel the spaces between the toes and feel the whole right side of the body at once. Soft and relaxed. Now shift your attention to the left hand thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, little finger. Feel the spaces between the fingers on the left side, palm of the left hand, back of the left hand left wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, left shoulder, left armpit, left waist, hip, thigh, knee, and the space just underneath the left knee. Lower leg, left ankle, heel, sole of the left foot, top of the left foot, all five toes together. Feel the spaces between the toes and feel the whole left side of the body at once. <clears throat> Soft and relaxed. Relaxing the throat. Jaw. Lips. Chin. Cheeks ears, nose, both eyeballs together, both eyebrows together, the space between the eyebrows, the forehead, the whole face at once, the whole spine the whole torso, both legs together, both arms together, the whole body at once, sense the whole body as a field of sensation. We're going to end this yoga nidra with a loving kindness practice. So bringing to mind somebody in your life that is easy to love. Perhaps it's a pet, a child, partner, 
friend, colleague, just someone who's easy to soften around. Notice what it is about this particular being that brings up this sense of appreciation. gleam in the person's eyes, the way they show love to you, their brightness, beauty, humour, mischievousness, their basic sentience. Just imagining you expressing this appreciation to that being and that being receiving that. And we're going to widen this heart space to include yourself, your loving, appreciative heart. And just resting in this gentle space for the next couple of moments. Gently drawing the attention back to your Sankalpa, your intention that you set at the start of the Yoga Nidra. And repeating that to yourself three times in your mind now. Then give thanks and let it go. The practice of yoga nidra is now complete. So taking a slightly deeper, fuller breath in. And an exhale, just sigh it out. Just take one more of those if you need. And as the breath starts to deepen, we'll start to bring back some movement to the body whenever it feels intuitive for you. So a little movement through the fingers and the toes. Maybe shift it around a little so we're doing something a little bit different. So you can rub the thumb on the index finger, middle finger, ring finger, little finger. Making fists and releasing. And we'll just end with a full body stretch. So just reach the arms all the way back. Interlace the fingers, push the palms away from the body and just take a nice, easy, full body stretch. Full breath in. Exhale, side out. Drawing the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself one last big hug. And then we'll... Just allow the body to fall off to one side and just rest on one side for a moment. Notice how you feel. 
And then using one of the palms followed by the other, we gently press ourselves up. Just come to any comfortable seated position. You can keep the eyes closed and the head heavy, bringing the palms to rest on the knees or the thighs. Or you can bring Anjali Mudra, which is prayer hands to heart. Taking a moment first and foremost to thank yourselves for carving out this time and space for you, your body and your mental health. And we'll end by taking one last breath in and out together. So when you're ready, take a full breath in. Exhale, let it go. And bringing your intention forward into the coming year. Thank you very much for joining me.